Since I started my little old YouTube channel seven years ago, back in 2013, I have been making these year in review videos at the end of every year. And while the format of these videos has slightly changed, the content has basically always stayed the same. I've talked about some of my favorite things from the year and what I have gotten up to. When I filmed last year's video, my 2019 year in review, I ended it by saying that I knew 2020 was gonna bring a lot of change because although I hadn't announced it yet, I was 13 weeks pregnant with my son. Uh, so I knew that I was going to be in for like a massive year of change but oh boy I did not realize that the entire world was in for a massive year of change as well. My 2020 started off in just the shittest way possible um, with Nick's mum, my mother-in-law, passing away. Um, we knew it was a possibility this year because unfortunately she wasn't very well but I don't think any of us expected it to happen literally five days into 2020. Um, and I think regardless of if you are kind of like expecting someone's death or if it's unexpected, I've unfortunately experienced both in my life. Um, it's never easy. Losing someone is never easy. A couple of weeks later, Nick and I were set to fly to Melbourne to celebrate our first wedding anniversary. We decided to take the traditional paper gift for a first wedding anniversary to mean plane tickets. Although it was still a pretty emotional time and for a while there we didn't even think we were going to go because of everything that had just happened, uh, we did go and it was really lovely and chilled and I think it was a much needed distraction. While we were there I also got to tell my best friend Hannah that we were pregnant and we also got to celebrate our 10 year friendship anniversary which was already a super special thing to be able to do but given how this year has played out those memories now are so much more treasured. The rest of January was a bit of a whirlwind. My sister and her partner were over from Spain so we spent a lot of time hanging out with them. Nick and I went to see 660 in concert and we told everyone we were pregnant which made it feel a lot more real. In February my family and I took a little mini vacation uh, just up to Taupo in New Zealand to spend a long weekend and it was just so relaxed and so lovely and again given how this year has gone that time is just so incredible incredibly treasured. I'm so glad we got to do that. We also started renovating our lounge in February and then good old Rona started uh, dominating more and more of the New Zealand news and then towards the end of March in 2020 uh, New Zealand went into a full level 4 lockdown. Luckily my job meant that I could continue working and just work from home in sweats may I add which was much more comfortable as my baby bump grew uh, but Nick unfortunately wasn't so lucky his job isn't one that he could do from home so while he wasn't working he powered through the DIY. We we finished renovating our stairwell and entranceway, we turned my office into a nursery and we finished off the feature wall in our lounge and we didn't fully renovate but we also redecorated our rumbus room. I finished up work for the year on June 12th and two days later on June 14 my world changed forever in the best possible way with the birth of my son Finn. A week after he was born I was actually back in hospital for emergency surgery which was unrelated to birth which definitely wasn't ideal in terms of my recovery. weeks after Finn was born my parents came down to meet their first ever grandchild uh, but unfortunately on the day that they met Finn my 96 year old grandfather actually passed away. I am really thankful for things like FaceTime and obviously being able to share photos and videos easily so that my grandfather had seen photos of Finn, he knew Finn was in the world uh, and I know that he is looking down on us. We have also taken Finn on a few plane rides to meet some more of our family. We went up to Auckland for a weekend and then I also flew with Finn to surprise my mum for her birthday. The rest of the year has been just a massive blur of jewelry baby snuggles and constantly running out of storage on my phone from taking way too many photos and videos of Finn. But I definitely wouldn't have it any other way. 2020 is, for so many reasons, always going to be a year to remember. Um, unfortunately a lot of those reasons are shit but it's always going to be a year that I look back with some fondness because of course it was the birth of my first child. However 2020 has gone for you, I hope you can at least look back on some memories with fondness and with happiness. Um, and I feel like this year more than ever I am wishing you all a very happy new year.